He's a person of enormous energy who doesn't uh, particularly respond well to leisure and uh, likes to be engaged with issues in, in the world and uh, that's led to a, that's an amazing list of accomplishments. He's got a tremendously active mind and suffers from a rarely diagnosed form of social phobia, uh, which is called workaholism. Um, <laughs> it was a combination, I suppose, of his, his obvious uh, abilities, his intellect, uh, his uh, ability to uh, engage people and uh, to uh, communicate with them. October 1929, the beginning of a decade of hard times and sacrifice known as the Great Depression, but also the beginning of a Canadian who would excel internationally in health and business, a world-class citizen, innovator, diplomat, and builder. I think from a, from a young age we had a sense that, uh, that our father or my father was doing something uh, which was a little bit off the beaten track as far as the medical profession was concerned. He wasn't simply a practitioner. Uh, but he was, um, uh, you know, following through on a vision. That vision would become a revolutionary concept that teaching institutions the world over would emulate, as in 1965, John Evans founded the Faculty of Medicine at McMaster University at the incredibly young age of 35. I guess uh, in one other area, it was also at McMaster, the uh, development of uh, clinical epidemiology, trying to uh, uh, foster evidence-based medicine uh, that David Sackett, uh, who was one of the leaders at McMaster, introduced. And that, that has spread from McMaster uh, now really around the world as uh, a very important uh, discipline. And so, uh, again, it was the privilege of being associated with a very vibrant young group of people who uh, didn't know that you couldn't achieve lots of things uh, uh, because they they had the motto of uh, uh, which I'm sure you're familiar with of the medical school the uh, uh, melius est urnam fecera quam amovera which means it's more fun to make a mess than clean one up and so these people went out quite boldly in different areas and uh, none of us knew exactly what would happen but the results I think uh, were were very gratifying gratifying indeed as untold millions throughout the world have benefited from this Canadian innovation termed patient-focused education. And for John Evans, opportunities arose, bringing his talents to a variety of international initiatives. He's had such a diversified career and has had so much impact, uh, not just on medicine, but well beyond it in so many aspects of Canadian society and even beyond Canada. He was the uh, president of the Rockefeller Foundation really a remarkable thing for a Canadian to be uh, head of that uh, most American of uh, organizations, the Rockefeller Foundation. Then, as you know, he was also a senior officer in the, uh, in the World Bank. And I think on behalf of the World Bank, uh, he traveled to various countries in the world to assess uh, their health care needs and uh, I think the validity of, um, of their applications to the World Bank for help in their countries. So in two ways, through the Rockefeller Foundation and the World Bank, uh, he was, uh, we'll say, a world citizen or a world statesman of, uh, in uh, medical and financial affairs. Chairman and director of several private sector corporations, honorary fellowships and degrees from various institutions, the list is seemingly endless. Founding director of Population Health and Nutrition World Bank, a dabble in politics, and companion, Order of Canada. Well, I've always had great difficulty holding on to a job. Uh, it's, uh, uh, they find out about you in about three to four years. And lover of the practical joke. There was a uh, social reporter for the Globe and Mail by the name of Zena Cherry. I think she's passed away, but in the 60s and 70s, she used to write a column, a social column, on you know, what the latest party was. And I think uh, my father ran into her at some gathering um, and uh, she started asking him some questions and she, she said, well, what do you do? And, and he said, well, I'm a veterinary psychiatrist. And she swallowed this hook, line and sinker 
and the column the next Monday uh, in the Globe and Mail said, well, I met fellow John Evans, who's a veterinary psychiatrist, and I uh, absolutely no idea that uh, she had had the, you know, the wool pulled over her eyes. Today, John Evans adds inductee Canadian Medical Hall of Fame to his growing list of accomplishments. This is a very nice uh, thing uh, to make me feel that at least uh, in some way I have a linkage with the development of medicine in Canada. Thank you.